off this week's edition from where we left off playing musical skirts and this time the special programs minister let us in on her speciality but first let's not forget where we came from <laughs> Na watu wa media wakani sijui ni nini wakani chokoza wakani fanya nini lakini nikasema nimesema hiyo na nitafanya hiyo And here we are today It's fashionable it is my right Mimi ni kuwa nitatoa uhuru akiwa atashikwa And I don't want anybody to interfere with my freedom of dressing Although you look beautiful in it well, a short walk down memory lane reveals that young Murugi preferred a particular type of attire. When I was in school, I wore a miniskirt. A miniskirt. Yamanani. Wengine wanasema ati wanaume walimu hawaezi kukoncentrate. Kwani what's wrong with them? Yamanani. Hmm. That would sound like music to the ears. And one thing Kenyans are eager to hear is what Transport Minister Amos Kimunya will say this time. And here's why. A new Parliamentary Accounts Committee report now recommends he be sacked over the Delarue saga. In the past, he has been known to have nine lives like the proverbial cat. Question is, will he weather the storm this time round? Remember. This one thing I'm not prepared to do. Kimunya must go. And I will not do. Kimunya must go. I will not resign. Yamanani. I will rather die than resign. Yamanani. Will he wave away his fears? Or could this be it? <laughs> Constitution spells it out crystal clear, requiring high level of integrity from all public office holders. So make no mistake about it, this is a weighty matter. And speaking of weights, the Kenyan political scene is a fiercely competitive market. Nele <laughs> Mukononi nusumukate, mutamoni vitenda wili, ili kuwa haibu sana. Kwa hivu mamu ni kumawaji kubahi na netu wa kukawanya wa kenya. Na mbewa wa kenya wa kie pushe na kiasa duni ya kweza nana. It's all about driving the political agenda. Kwa hivu kia unajua, hii kezi ya hizi zimbe toka wapi? The greater need then 
for the electorate to be keen when it comes to choosing their next crop of leaders. They should not sneak up on you like these people attempted to do while our reporter Judy Kosgei was working hard to bring you the story. Majority of the close to 500,000 refugees in the Dab refugee camp are confined to one place and such a recreational facility gives them some form of freedom. Majority of the close to 500,000 refugees in the Dab refugee camp are confined to one place. <laughs> After a hard day's job, no pun intended. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to just kick back and relax, like citizen reporter Patrick Ingendi. <laughs> Cameraman Edwin Y. Hmm. One man's meat is another man's. Zito. <laughs> you guessed it. Enough said. Willis. Truth.